All right, guys, so with these frost bolis, what is making me know what they are? Well, they have this deeply reticulated stem, and by reticulation, uh, that is the texture that you see here. Once you start to get familiar with some of the bolete characteristics, you'll notice that they have different types of stems. And so this one right here is telling on itself, even though that these are some old specimens. Some other things to look for is uh, this yellow margin you can see kind of right there and that bruises blue so a lot of times in the bleed category this one's breaking a few a few rules bruising blue and uh, red pores are usually indicators that the species is not edible but there are always exceptions to the rules so once again this would be one that i do not recommend eating uh, for beginners just until you get more familiar with the identification characteristics of bleed there's also often a golden um, little droplets with, uh, of moisture when these are young that will be on the pores that you'll be able to see and it also has an olive brown spore print so just letting you guys kind of see these in a high definition video really look for that reticulated stem uh, that is going to be one of the telltale signs along with the candy red cap here and the brew blue bruising now uh, with these being edible once again I would just make sure you do your, your due diligence to make sure you got the right kind of beliefs because I'm in the southeast and not all of the lookalikes that are in my area are going to be in your area so just do your research get outside get in nature I see fungi do you